I'm weird because I'm almost on the opposite side of the spectrum where like I almost view Ness as like a as like a really weird grappler sword character. I I'm the worst person to ask. <laughs> I really am I really I really am the worst person to ask about like what, what is my opinion on Ness as a character cuz I really just don't know, but I do him view him like a sword grappler hybrid. Um but that's because I just see the disjoints in a lot of his aerials and some right. of his moves. Right, and his ability to just use that PK fire to like to like basically get some combos in there, and most of his damage could come from PK fire or like call out in the air from the range. It, it, it's different, but yeah, someone in the chat definitely knows. Ven knows this matchup like the back of his hand, man, because yeah. he quite literally plays this matchup every week oh, against Foe. And, and what there a is that expert matchup knowledge. Many Zelda has been caught out by the Ness responding to the night setup with the Oh, bat. excuse me, ben! that's meant of your oh! moment number five. Man, I'm in the moment number five, ladies and gentlemen. Ben was like, I'm not going to let you land. This is a no-fly zone. Echo Fire lost that stock, man. Woo! Man, five men of you moments, and we're not even in grand finals yet. We're not even in winner's finals. <laughs> Jesus. Van Vance did be calling them all out tonight, ladies and gentlemen. So please sit, sit tight and keep watching the stream for much, many, many more awesome moments like that. Big stilettos. The back air coming through here for Ben. Try to go out deep. Oh, we might have actually... Oh! Echo Fire timing that down air perfectly to catch Ven unawares and bring this right back. I don't know. These two are just trading big, big haymakers back and forth. It's almost like a Haas fight. Oh, and that down throw up air confirmed. Echo Fire wasn't able to DI out of the way, and Ven firmly back to control in this game. That's good for Ven to just automatically know and take up that matchup knowledge he's had against Foe, right? One of the best Ness in Smash 4 altogether, and, and arguably who could have been one of the best Ness mains if he traveled out of Vegas. Oh. But he knows, oh, like, once I get hit by Ben. Yeah, well, he knows once I get PK fired, let me just Nehru's love out of this PK fire damage, and I'll be fine here. Ven going for that extra low recovery, barely able to come back, and he's hitting out Echo Fire out of that situation. It's a forward throw here. Ven with the setup on Knight, forcing that low recovery, and that's a great oh. punish. He forced that out. <laughs> that knockback was so quick. I think it looked like Echo Fire teleported out of the, the game. <laughs> what? <laughs> Blink of an eye and Echo Fire vanishes. Then, just getting out of that slobber knocker. It was like a two minute long game. Yeah, I was going to say, man, someone in the chat said <laughs> Nez versus Zelda is peak online smash. I'm sorry, not, man. Ven, not, not for not for Ven. I'm sorry, not for Ven. You got the wrong guy, dude. Uh, Vance, I, 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 I can't believe what I just saw. I, I just, it looked like I blinked and. Echo Fire won. just went out of existence. <laughs> <laughs> I don't even know if Echo Fire does. I'm, I'm with, um, I can't, I'm so bad at pronouncing tags on Smash.gg. I'm, I'm sorry, on Twitch chat sometimes. On Twitch. Yeah. But like, uh, I guess he, Hikichi18, oh. like, he's pretty much saying, like, okay. he doesn't know if, if, uh, this Echo is different. Yeah, he doesn't know if Echo Fire has experience in this matchup, but never mind the experience, man. He's going to be going hero for this one. Time for some hilarious shenanigans from Hero. Got the bounce coming up, which means that Knight has a little bit of its impact uh, lesson, but Ven still figured out some way to get it used right there. Yeah, Ven knows that like after bounce is gone, it's you know it's pretty much go time. But even then, it's still worth having the setups all together. But it's gonna be up to Echo Fire to just to remember. All right, cool. I do have bounce on. I don't have to worry about any specific setups. Even then, Ven knows the setup covers the other option. So it's up to Echo Fire to remember what is the other option. It's it's kind of one of those things like you can play up, you can play with the best deck in in the game, but do you really know how to Ooh. use it without misplays? That kaboom is oh, so man. strong. Ben basically paid for being stuck in way too long of end lag on stage, and Echo Fire forced him off with a very long landing uh, cross up fair that led to that, uh, you know, explosion off stage. But, you know, Ben's the kind oh. of veteran who. Oh, no! I was just the kind of veteran who doesn't get caught out by cheap tricks! Meta view moment Snoop. number six that I'm in seven. Meta view moment number seven! Jesus, <laughs> six and seven moments all in one clip! Ben is not wasting his time, man. He sees there's one no. stock on. He knows I got to leave. Oh, my God. Oh, man. He almost got. <laughs> that would have been sick. 
All right, he's got the whack activated. 74%. Van, excellent using Manero's love. You know he can reflect that. Small heal coming out from Echo Fire. There's a back air. Stage control, no forward air. That's a back throw. And you know that bang slowly going to make its way to off the stage here as Van takes stage control just for some seconds here. The question for Echo Fire is how f he could not waste his time taking care of the stock on Van. Oh, he is throwing he's everything. He's trying to get the wind bot on Kaboom to take uh, Van's last stock right there. Yeah, real question for Ven is like, when do I- Oh my I gosh. That's a good punish. Yeah, I was going to say, he needs to start doing the same setup he had on Nest forward smash, especially against Hero, but what a- What the hip watch, the back air there, just teleporting Ven to the blast zone. Oh. And Echo Fire with the counter pick, going to even things up at one all. There is an answer for the Zelda, and it is going to be an Echo Fire's character that is going to be this hero pick. Vanta, I, I still can't believe that Snooze to turn around F Smash. <laughs> oh, I so am with wild. you. I am with I, um, you. One thing I noticed is that what well, was kind of interesting is Hero's neutral pace can often be like something like where Hero's new, um, normals can be like either outpaced or your opponents can just out throw out faster options or be faster stat wise. But Zelda is actually a really good attribute and aerial and neutral option match for Hero. Like basically, uh, Echo Fire has been going tit for tat for with Ven, and really catching Ven completely off guard. Not just with the down beach shenanigans, but a lot of neutral stuff. So let's see if Echo Fire is going to continue to have success here in game number three, or if Ven can figure it out, solve this Hero problem. Also, Echo Fire has been just pulling Bounce like crazy, which is very good and very important in this matchup. Yeah, if I'm not mistaken, Bounce does have a multiplier. Bounce, I think, if I'm not mistaken, specifically Bounce and Zoom do have multipliers. Oh, kaboom. On, on situations there, and that Kaboom is going to be really big for Echo Fire, literally giving him an early stock lead on 47%. Man, a lot of people seem to write off Hero as one of those characters that's just not that strong with the meta, but I'm telling you right now, it's not the RNG that really necessarily makes them good at times. It's the player's ability to understand how to influence that, R that RNG. Yeah. What the character's constant shuffling of each card in the deck. Even if bounce isn't usable oh. in that matchup, just getting it out of the deck is the best thing you can like, do. But even Hero falls to some very conventional plays and Ben with the setup there to entice Echo Fire to get back up the stage and eat the stilettos in that back air. Right now, oh, nice call out here by Ven. He's got Echo Fire kind of stuck at ledge. He keeps boxing him in. Earlier, he got punished severely for letting Echo Fire just sit at ledge. So we'll see if Ven's going to start taking more aggressive tact right now with his options. But again, using the the, the menu pull to basically, uh, uh, you know, have Ven overload mentally in terms of like stopping himself in his tracks to find out what option Echo Fire wants. The setup at ledge, looking for the down air, but instead Echo Fire able to stall long enough to up his way out of the way. Getting those landing back airs. So far, Echo Fire has really had a much better case of with the landing aerial advance. That's really been the part of the difference. Oh man, that setup almost worked. Big dash attack. Echo Fire was going to survive for a minute. Avoids the dense fire, but not the knight. Then counting on that air dodge read. He's got one stock away from pulling away with the victory here in game three, but can Echo Fire bring this back? Oh, got the down air at ledge, but then still able to recover with the teleport. Oh, what a oh, trick. Oh, he's ready to get yeah. Kafriz at ledge, but Ven's ledge invincibility hadn't run out even at 129. That was so unfortunate. Boom. Still not enough to put away Ven, the godlike DI to survive that. Oh, oh the teleport. Is this going to do it for Echo Fire stock? Manages to air drift beyond the night. Oh, but he's going to get dinged by the down air, but he had enough mana to get back. The uppy. Ven, though, just keeps sitting back right now and just throwing options here and making Echo Fire's life hell. Yeah, you can see Echo Fire is being largely affected by this. Oh. Oh, 
There was that four so, and a shield from Ven. Oh, the, but that was good. That was good. And that's so rough. <laughs> yeah, with the way how much, like, from what it looked like, he had just run out of magic points. So yeah. Ven able to get that footstool was so big. <laughs> that That's called veteran's intuition. Ven capitalizing there, take game number three. That said, I feel like the hero counter pick is working. I, it, that just, that game had the ring of Ven just getting a lot more out of the moments where he picked and choose to go in for the most part. So we'll see what kind of changes will happen in game four. Meanwhile, folks, if you want to keep track of everything going on in the loser side of bracket as well, you can feel free to hit exclamation point bracket in the chat to pull up the link to the bracket. Yeah. And you guys can also follow along as the bracket is, of course, live as we are streaming live. And if you guys missed out the bracket and you guys are watching this VOD back at home, check out smash.gg forward slash MSMO. And you guys can catch up on what happened last week and when the next bracket is coming this week. Of course, we do update when signups are available. So if you missed one week, do not fret. There are some signups for the next week and so on and so forth until we get that good old smash offline back here for SoCal. Uh, but coming up for Ven here, of course, we do have him pretty much on the set lead. And wow, that oomph coming out here for Echo Fire is going to be so big. But good stuff for Ven, just recognizing that distance, able to shield on that one. It is really interesting how little Echo Fire has relied on Frizz or Kafriz at all in this matchup. He's trying to go for some big call-ups like once or twice with it. Oh, big teleport in, though. And Echo Fire's in trouble. Kind of to burn a couple, a little bit of resource, but manages to avoid the knight. Ben holding court, and oh, he just picked his moment there. Perfect landing uh, back air to take that first stock. Oh, so much shield damage, but not enough here. This is good for Ben to get a grab. That's a oh. DI. That's pretty much the test there. Check on your DI or your directional air dodge, and that's a good call from Ben because he's always looking to check on his opponents in the situation. Uh, when is offline locals for SoCal coming back? They are back for MSM. Please stay tuned on our official socials here, uh, on our Twitter, at 2G Gaming. You guys can follow up when we do have that good old offline MSM online here but oh, back to the man. online play man that is big for ven and that, ven that continues was, the lead that was like ven holding echo fire at arm's length and just decking him over and over and over again finally just knocking him down with the big knight but echo fire there we go finally getting back into this game taking ven's first off with big down smash has the bounce has a lot of magic points let's see if he can use them well try and bring this one back oh but eats a back air for his troubles and again Ven is just like, <laughs> just going back over and over again with those stilettos. Oh! Echo Fire firing right back. A big S smash call out. Oh, good for Echo Fire. You just still recognize the Knight was in play. You can also hit Knight, particularly, but you have to watch out. There is, yeah. there is a percentage threshold for Knight as well. Uh, good for him to recognize that grab, and you can tell Echo Fire is turning on the Jets, man. He knows even though there's 99% on the name, there's still two stock, one stocks a piece, and he knows he can turn things around. The psych up is a nice way to slowly start things up here. Let's see if he can get any opportunities. Yeah. Ben knows I gotta keep this wall out here, but now oh, that he's got the got bounce. Oh my god, he almost had the F smash. He just he went in the wrong direction. Ben right now pushing Echo Fire off stage. Echo Fire just slipping underneath Den's fire and the knight. That's a, that's a good player, yeah. Oh, so much shield damage. He had to drop it and eat the teleport. Oh, no. Oh, and he searched through the deck for what was oh. supposed to be Zoom, but the multiplier and the chances of it out were not there, and that'll give them that 3-1 over Echo Fire, man. What? There are ways to manipulate uh, Hero's disadvantage to get multiple.